Hi, my name is Jeff Davis, and today I'm going to show you a Royal Gold Dust table made by Royal Manufacturing in Santa Ana, California. The really neat thing about it is it's similar to other Miller tables, except it's got a super conductive mat, which makes the gold just literally stick to it. And also, it has an extra uh, little flare plate on the front to where basically it'll catch any leftover gold that happens to come down on the miller table which nobody else has anywhere around this one's actually really good i recommend it now i'm going to show you the video basically it's a it's blue powder coat table it has the motor goes inside it has the battery and the you want to get the dry jet dryer i got a copy of it um Basically, I got all the, the bottles and everything on the side. And what's the best thing about this is it's got this little tray on the front right here that captures the material that comes off the table so that it's kind of a secondary catch. You don't always get gold in it, but every once in a while you'll find a small piece. Or so I've got a couple pieces in there that are nice. And that way you kind of get that double uh, chance to check for your special gold. matting. And one thing that's really important is they use a little foot tray in the front. It goes up and down like this. Let me put my stuff down here. It uses this tray. And you can have it down or up, and what it does it catches the lightweight material that would come down off the off the table itself. Now what happens is every once in a while a rock or some gravel will push a piece of gold down in here, which if you're on a regular table, it's off into the abyss. So what I do is I catch it, and I'll give you a demonstration of it. I'm gonna hold my phone at the same time. Okay, and I'll just take that and I, I stream my material out to eighth inch. And you'll see it here, breaking down and of course dropping into the tray. And of course, I try to keep the phone steady, because it doesn't help. But this is a nice piece of gold right there, you can see it. You can also see all the other fine gold, like right in there. That's actually a really good sized piece up there. You can see it right there. And there's another little small piece right, so get right there. Uh, I'm trying to stay out of the light when I do that. I'm going to pause the video and chase more in a minute. I put some more material onto the uh, table. It looks like I have a piece of lead right here, which I have a little lead back right here. I, I actually keep lead, recycle it. But you can see fine gold that's being captured on the table right here. And the gravel will go down. And if I get a little strip, or once I get a little strip where something gets caught, I'll just push it over and we'll see gold throughout the table. Rock will rock like that. Just pick it up and have a little rock bucket. And basically, when I do that, I'll take my snuffer bottle and if I get a little escaping piece, I'll pick it up. So what I will do, I don't know if I can do this with one hand or not, but I'll take all my gold and I'll put it at the top here and I'll try to show you a picture of it. Right here. You'll be able to see it. It makes a nice little... Yeah. Bit of gold right okay, there. What I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you how we pick up the gold with the card. You can see down in here, there's a lot of gold. So what I do is I take the little card, and I, and I come up like this, and you'll open the piece gun down here. And you'll see how it, how it gets a good little zoom in on that a little bit. And you'll see the little layer of gold down in here, if you go closer. And you'll see it right there. And what I do is I pull the card back about a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch, and I suck it all up inside the uh, bottle. And I see that little small, I'll put my finger on it, right? There, you can see how tiny a piece of gold is you can get in there. Again, I'll just take this snuffer bottle and get right up. And then you'll see at the end, 
you can see, you can see all the gold I've captured off the bottom of the, the, the table. They get quite a bit, but that's gold that a lot of people would throw away back into the creek. Now with the table, I'm going to take and shuffle the, the material back and forth like this. And that way it, it shuffles any gold towards the bottom. And then what I do is I snap it like this. See the effect of it. It's almost like tapping a uh, gold pan to have it drop to the bottom. And what I'll do is I'll take it slowly like this and I'll bleed off all the lightweight stuff that comes out. Still leaves all this other. Now sometimes I'll take, if I get a lot of material, I'll go back over it again like that. And just take it and it a few times. And I'll do that and I'll pull these off more. And now I'm getting thinner, it's getting thinner and thinner. More. Bleed off more material and see it's getting less and less. And now. I can go explore on the bottom and see if I find any gold in here. I don't always find it, but I'm pretty good at picking it off. But the idea is it'll capture. Okay, I found a small piece of gold. I'll try to put it right here. I'm going to try to take my finger and clear it so you can see it. Rock. Maybe a lot of black sand around it. You'll see it right. Zoom it in there. You can see it right there, really clear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear my snuffer bottle. Suck it right up. So that way uh, you can get your leftover piece of gold that does come down on these tables. There's no, no table around that won't accidentally let a piece of gold you know, get pushed down by sand or rock or whatever. So that was just a good example for you to see um, why this little tray here on the bottom. Originally this tray was made in silver colored and I went up to Robert at, at Royal and said, hey, you need to make it green. And he said, why? And I said, because you can't see the gold. And two weeks later, I got one to mail from him and he's put them on there ever since. So it's a great addition to it. So he doesn't charge any more money, though it costs a lot more money to powder coat this piece, but excellent addition to the tables. One thing that's really neat about this is you get a funnel in the package and something you can't do on most other uh, tables like Miller tables or the um, Blue Bowl is clean up your bottle and get this stuff outside. It, it, sometimes it'll overflow and you lose gold. What this is really neat is you put the funnel in there and you push, you push down really hard on it so there's no gap in here. And then what I do is I pour the water in try to get, and then I, I take and a little more in there, I can take the bottle. But here with me is you can put it in here and you can get the bottle below the water and it's going to get any gold out from inside of it. But the nice thing is everything's going to fall in the bottle. It's not going to cope around it. Now the one thing I, I have learned that when you do this, you don't tap it a little bit and then release the water real slow and so you don't blow any gold out of the bottom. When you do that, and I'll show you one second. Now another thing too is you want to get the air bubble out. So you come down inside your bubble water and you can actually put it under the water and that way you don't have as much air bubbles but you'll see the gold that you get cleaned up here put it on top of here you can see it better and that's a lot of the fine gold that a lot of people throw away in their black sand so that's what's really cool about this and of course if you miss something it's going to drop in here so you can stuff your bow stuff it back up or sometimes the once in a while I'll blow something out and it'll be on the table and it's real easy just to take your snuffer bottle back up. I like, guess a little couple dots right there and you just pick them right back up again.